Here are some important carbohydrates you should know. We already learned about glucose and fructose, which are here in their ring structures. Disaccharides are really straightforward. Maltose is made of two glucose molecules, and sucrose is made of a glucose and a fructose molecule. Sucrose is just known as our everyday table sugar. Polysaccharides are a little more complicated. Glycogen, starch, and cellulose are all made of chains of glucose, except they have different structures and different properties. The first two store energy, whereas the last one is a component of plant cell walls. Let's first look at glycogen and starch. As a golden rule for both, the longer the carb chain, the more energy it holds. You can think of a difference between and an apple and a potato. Which, which has more carbs? Which has more energy? The potato is the correct answer for both because the potato has more carbs and therefore has more energy. Glycogen and starch both have the same function, but because they are found in different places, they differ in their structure. Whereas starch is found in plants and is just made of one long line of glucose, glycogen is found in animals and has lots of branches that allow it to store more energy. Remember, the longer the chain, the greater the energy. So the branching in glycogen is an efficient way of packing a lot of energy into a smaller amount of space. This makes sense that glycogen would be found in animals because animals need a lot more energy than plants. So cellulose makes up plant cell walls. Like starch, it is a simple long chain of glucose. Because of its flat shape, cellulose chains are easily stacked on top of each other. As you can see, each chain is held to another by hydrogen bonds. And then together, the stack forms a wall. This rigid structure is what makes plant cells so strong, plant cell walls so strong. Not only is cellulose a necessary component for plants, it is ex also extremely beneficial for humans to ingest. When we eat plants like corn or beans, they are high in fiber. In other words, they are high in cellulose. Our bodies don't break down cellulose well, so it provides us with the fiber we need to move our food through the digestive system more easily. Now we can end with a lovely cartoon to finish off the carbohydrate unit.